Hi guys, it's Vic and this is a bit of an ASMR podcast update. What else is new? Um, <laughs> the funny thing about me making this video, you can hear my floors creaking. I am, as per usual, cleaning up my kids' toys for the night. Um, this is actually a sneak peek video. Um, you guys are getting this firsthand before my podcast YouTube channel gets it. Um, so I just wanted to make this for my ASMR fam. Um, because many of you that will be, you know, listening to my podcast are coming from my ASMR channel. So I figured I would make you guys a personal video, um, before I made my second, um, video on my ASMR, my ASMR, my podcast, uh, YouTube channel. So as many of you know, um, oh, also, and I hope your holidays were fabulous. I will do like a regular update video, like a life update, I'm sure, sooner rather than later. But this is simply podcast related. Um, so as many of you know, I have decided to stream my podcast from YouTube. So I'm in the process of starting a second YouTube channel. I actually just did all of my... Um, my husband and I sat down earlier and we did like my logos for my podcast YouTube channel. And as all of you know, I have decided to do, um, audio, audio podcast. And I hate to disappoint my ASMR fam, but as you, as you guys know, none of my podcasts are going to be in ASMR form. They're going to be my regular voice. So my apologies for that. But think of how cool that would to do an ASMR podcast. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure that there are some out there. And if there are, I'll have to search for them and listen. So I decided to start a second YouTube channel, which I will be updating on the lost Instagram account and this account. Um, so essentially we're going to start right at the drawing board and I'm going to give you guys all the updates. Okay. So if you want podcast information, you're going to check probably the community tab here on my ASMR channel and you're going to check the, um, lost podcast Instagram account, which is not private. It's public for that specific reason. So if you guys are not following the Lost Podcast Instagram account, and I think many of you are, hop on over and feel free to follow me on there. So things are definitely going to be subject to change. I decided to make like a channel trailer on the Lost Podcast YouTube channel so that before people start listening to the podcast, they kind of have an idea what it's going to entail, what my plans are for it, and so on and so forth. And the reason why I wanted to make a channel trailer is because I don't want to eat up too much time in my first podcast episode, wasting time talking about, this is what the podcast is going to be about, blah, blah, blah. That's why I'm going to make a channel trailer. Everything is really ready to go. The problem is that I have to do and figure out um, like editing software and things like that. And unfortunately, my brother-in-law, who is like a genius with this kind of stuff, um, he lives away. So it's hard to like help me over the phone. That's really all I'm waiting on. <laughs> okay, so moving on. That is the plan for, um, you know, to start it up. The first episode that's going to be uploaded is really just going to be like a quick, maybe 10 minute intro to what the podcast is going to entail. Um, so remember, I'm telling you guys all this first. The second thing I wanted to talk about is many of you will be following me from this channel. I am not embarrassed that I do ASMR. I enjoy it. I've been doing it for a long time, even though the last 
what, three, four years since I've had kids. I haven't really been active. Um, but for people who don't know what ASMR is, let's call it what it is. They think it's weird. So all I ask for all of my ASMR followers on the podcast is in the comment section, please don't mention this channel. Um, <coughs> I'm going to probably have a lot of family and friends. And again, it's not that I'm embarrassed, but I would really like to keep the two separate. You know, my ASMR and my podcast are two totally different things. They're two totally different um, versions of myself. I mean, granted, I give you guys plenty of life updates and enough information where I think you guys know me, but they're very, very separate things. So, you know, if you guys could refrain in the comment section on the podcast YouTube channel from being like, oh my God, when are you going to make ASMR again? I don't not a lot of my family and friends know um, that I make ASMR. And again, I'm not embarrassed. It's just people, unfortunately, can be very ignorant, um, you know, with things that they have no knowledge of, clearly, because that's what it means. And I just don't need, like, the stress or the backlash or anybody calling me weird or anything like that. Um the third thing, which I think I mentioned in another video, is I will not be discussing any politics on the podcast. You know, I thought long and hard about, because I have a general outline for episodes, I've thought very, very hard about making an episode with a pediatrician on like vac like regular vaccinations, not the big C word vaccine, but like regular vaxes that you get your children, chicken pox, MMR, hepatitis, all that stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, just because I don't want it to all of a sudden trigger other topics. Um, the lost podcast is a very safe place for moms with no judgment and I just don't want to get into it on there um you know my family's beliefs are very different from other people and we've lost unfortunately a lot of family and friends because of it um I'm very vocal about my opinion um and yeah I just the podcast is not a place time like it's just not the place for those type of beliefs opinions so yeah I've already said that before in a past video but politics are going to be completely left out of the podcast it's just straight mom stuff really good topics I have some really really great girls um and people that I'm going to be interviewing that I'm super excited about because I hold them very dear to my heart and I think that you know they're really going to bring something awesome to the table so the channel trailer not politics. Um, oh, okay. So the other thing I want to talk about is what you're kind of going to see with each episode. So I have the general outline for what I want my episodes to look like. And one of the things that I wanted to do is, um, I want to talk about and leave links for other mom Instagram accounts. Um, books that you can get on Amazon, um, links to the people maybe I'm interviewing if they allow me to do that. Um, you know, um, helpful recommendations on people, places, like I said, books, links, accounts, social media access. I want to leave all that in the description of each video. So for example, my kid's dietitian, who is freaking amazing. I love her. Um, and I, I think I'm proud to say like, we've kind of, we do telehealth appointments for my kids, but we've talked so much that I think we've kind of created this friendship and she's an amazing mom and amazing dietitian. And I adore her. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for example, when I do a couple segments with her, particularly on like diet, nutrition, and things like that for our littles, our kids, I'm sure that she will have some really great um, books, links, 
all that stuff that I can link in the description that can further help my listeners. Um, yeah, so that was the other thing. Um, I'm going to end each episode with a quote pertaining to the episode. So like if we do an episode on, well, if I do an episode on generational traumas and how it affects our parenting, which is something that I plan on doing, I will end that episode with a quote, you know, kind of an inspirational quote, um, as a send off. I thought that that was like a cute exit for my podcast. Um, what's the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about what I plan on doing? So the co-host thing. I think I mentioned this before, but I will reiterate just in case. Um, unfortunately, things did not work out with having a co-host for my podcast, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, you know, I really think it happened for a good reason, and the beautiful part about that is that it opens up a whole new window for me being able to maybe have a part-time co-host, have a different guest on each episode, a couple different episodes. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm going to mention in my channel trailer for the podcast on my other YouTube channel is there are so many professional ways to do a podcast and I don't want it to be like one of these things where it has to be by the book, set in stone, perfect, professional. Of course, I'm going to be professional to the best of my ability, but I want it to be just a place where moms can come and not feel judged, not feel alone, feel heard, feel like, okay, this is normal that I'm feeling like this. This is you know, common that I'm feeling like this. So the nice thing about this podcast is that I am going to leave it very open-ended where things are going to be constantly subject to change. Like I might get a full-time co-host six months in. I might get a part-time co-host where I have the same person just for random episodes. Um, and then we interview a guest together. I, things are always going to be subject to change. So, like I said, I think you guys are going to know with each episode, like you want to listen, you don't want to listen. And as I'm going to say in the channel trailer, so to speak, as long as I can just help or reach one mom, then I've done my job. It doesn't have to be 50 of you. It doesn't have to be a million of you. Although that would be great. As long as I'm helping even one person, then my job is done. So... Yeah, it's just going to be very relaxed, very laid back. Um, I have, some, like I said, some really great people that I want to interview that I think you can, you know, learn from, connect with, um, take away. And yeah, that's kind of like what I wanted to let you guys know you can expect to listen to. Um still working out some kinks so I don't want anybody to think like oh my god she's gotten so lazy with this what is taking her so long but even though I don't want it to be you know this perfect uniformed podcast I still need it to be good and it it really takes a lot of work because for every subject I have quote unquote I'm sorry every episode so to speak quote unquote um segment episode whatever you want to call it I have to do outlines for them. I have to prepare for them. You know, so much of my ASMR is just off the cuff. And even though I'm going to be winging some of it with the podcast, I can't go into this blind. Like I need outlines and I need schedules. And that's kind of what's, you know, becoming of it and what's taking a little longer. So, excuse me. As I said, please feel free to go and follow my Instagram account that is public for the podcast. Keep an eye on this ASMR channel. Keep an eye on the Instagram. 
and there will be a lot of exposure of like when it's coming out. Um, the one thing I can say, and I think I've mentioned before, is the day of the week that the episode comes out is going to be different each week. With my husband's work schedule, um, it's just not feasible or possible for me to, to do the same exact day every week. Um, well, it's not for many reasons, not that anybody cares, but, um, so it is going to be weekly, um, but it's going to be a different day of the week. So keep an eye out for all of that. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. I hope that everybody's perceptive to it. Um, you know, and I hope that nobody's offended when I'm like, oh, make sure in the comment section we don't talk about ASMR. I can't stress that, that enough because I just don't want anybody to get the vibe that, like, it's some big secret. But my ASMR life and my podcast life are just separate. And, like I said, unfortunately, even though quite a bit of the world knows what ASMR is, the people that don't listen to it or don't you know, need it or use it or benefit from it really are just like, what? That's so weird. What are you whispering for? <laughs> like people just think it's weird. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and I will link the Instagram account below in the description box. So feel free to follow. Um, and there's going to be a lot of like updates on there as well as, um, it's kind of funny because my personal Instagram I've had for so long, it's tough for me to navigate the podcast Instagram because I feel like I'm learning Instagram all over again. So be patient with it if it seems like kind of a dry page right now. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I hope everybody had a beautiful holiday, a wonderful new year. I can't wait for what this new year will bring. My husband and I are probably going to try for baby number three. So I'm excited to update you guys with that. Should that happen? We're in the process of looking for a bigger house right now. Um, we found one that we'd love. We just have to put a bid in on it. So <sighs> I'm just going to be a gut punch if we don't get it. But I know that if we don't, it wasn't meant to be. Um, we did decide to move down south, but where we live now, I think we're just going to stay put for like a year um, because my husband has a really good job and he just wants to keep getting the experience before we move away. And besides that, if I have a newborn, I would prefer to do it with family and friends close by to help me because three kids by myself in a completely different state is probably going to be a little anxiety inducing. So yeah, life update coming soon, hopefully ASMR soon. I know I always say that, but mom life. And yes, I cannot wait for the podcast. So stay tuned, check the description box, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.